Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. This time I want to use this small tray mold. It's a ripped tray mold from Molds and Shapes and I want to make a flower. So I haven't done a flower for quite a bit and it's quite challenging at the moment because it was very cold over here in Belgium. We had minus eight degrees Celsius, so freezing cold. But I mixed my ultra cast resin, I let it set a little bit. I mixed it in a warm water bath and then I just let it rest for 20 minutes before I started pouring. My clear resin is already in the mold and I mixed the colors. It's the angel white pigment paste. There you see it. The second color is the storm cloud, a mica. And the third color is the rich gold. So the Angel White is from Laura's Art Corner, actually from the rest, but I received it from Laura. And I'm just going in spirals. I'm doing this rather in brackets simple pour because I had some failures, I need to admit, because of the weather. I believe it's the weather, so I was a little bit frustrated and I thought I'd try it again. I want to make a little bowl. So now my first color is a spiral with the white and I'm just making sure I'm rather near to the edge of the mold. Try not to get trapped at the edge of the mold, otherwise the resin is also trapped there and it may cause two blobs or anything like it. So this is the storm cloud and it's a mica from Just Paint. And it has a grayish blue tone with a hint of gold. So it's just also an interference color. And I really like it a lot. And I'm pouring on top of my white. I did this technique um, already a few times. And I'm just giving it a quick torch. And now I decided, well, first I wanted to go with the gold first, and then I decided I make my flower design first. So I'm going in total eight times from outside in. You see what I'm doing. It's just dragging your dotting tool through the resin. And then I'm just making a little swirl in the center and I'm taking some of the 24k glass I think it's glass glitter yeah it's also from Laura's art corner and I'm just putting this into the center I'm just taking a few nothing major just a little bit and I'm trying to get them a little bit deeper into my resin, into the center. And then I'm designing my gold and I'm just pouring outside. This is a technique I really love, you know, just pouring the gold outside so it can float over my flower and you have the um, hint of gold in the background. And I really like this technique and I, I think they are really nice effects in the petals. What I'm also doing, I'm now dragging a little bit the outer leaves outside to make a little design you see in the middle. dragging them just a little bit outside. And that's basically my flower done. By the way, I link molds and shapes into my description box and also Laura's art corner. You can check it out for the discount code. So this is round about 15 minutes later and you can see how the resin is already working. And fingers crossed that this flower will turn out all right. And this is the next day 
And yeah, it's almost 24 hours later. I think 22 hours. Um, the resin is quite cured. It's only a little bit bendy, but I still want to put it into a bowl. But let's have a look first and look at that. I was so happy because the last um, two pours I, I failed and I thought I need to take all my, my patience and yeah, work on it. And I'm glad that this turned out very good. And now I'm just putting this into my little bowl. I could use the heat gun, but I always try to avoid it. So I'm really pressing hard to get my bowl into the bowl. And yeah, that's it. And now this is the final result. I didn't show you how I took this out. I hope it's okay for you. I hope you like my little flower bowl. And yeah, I would like to receive a comment. If you like my video, a thumbs up. And yeah, if you're not subscribed, I would be very happy if you would do. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.